caressing the fish, they're caressing the animals, and it's just the craziest party you've ever been to is going on right here. Seems like it's like a predecessor to surrealism? Yes, it does. It looks like a very early surrealism piece. Very good, Sharon. And then you have the right panel. So after this great party happens, everybody's in trouble. So here he's showing hell, and instead of the devil being in here, he has all kinds of monsters, and whatever the person's different vice was that was going on, that's what's torturing them in hell. So you see all these different things torturing people. And the punishment for the sinners is that whatever that vice was, like Sharon, what would be your vice? Chocolate. Chocolate. So the chocolate might be choking you in hell for all eternity. You have this chocolate that's just like, you eat too much of me. It's too much. What's your advice, Aaron? Um, probably being lazy and sloth would probably be my, week, my, my biggest spice. Really? Uh, I bet they would put you on a treadmill and not let you get away <laughs> for all eternity. <laughs> Abdelia, what's your advice? <laughs> probably wrath. <laughs> And what do you think would happen to you? I think everyone would just hate me. Yeah? Or they'd all give you big giant hugs and love you all the time. Oh and my god. <laughs> <laughs> that would be your worst nightmare. <laughs> so, the moral of the story was is that there is a consequence. So you need to think about that when you're living your life, these different things you're doing. There's a consequence. And if that was the consequence, oh my gosh, that's crazy. So we should think about that. Next time I'm lazy, I'm going to think about how if I'm stuck on a treadmill for all eternity, that would not be good. And in conclusion, the artistic production of the Northern Renaissance was vast, rich, and complex. Symbols were used by artists to add layers of meaning to the narrative they were portraying. And the objects were symbols were often carried out hidden meanings. So does anyone think that when they looked at these different things we talked about that were symbols, that they stuck out, that you could tell that they weren't just what they were supposed to be in this scenery, in this painting. No, it, did. it made us look closer. Mm -hmm. Maybe once we saw one, we could start looking for another one. Mm -hmm. But they didn't stick out. Yeah, they seem to be in perfect harmony with the work of art. And that's what's really important with symbolism, especially during this time, with everything going on with the Protestant Reformation, is that they were trying to use these symbols that were really important to them, but they didn't want everyone to know what was going on. And they knew that that candle meant God and part of the holy matrimony, but they could have just had an image of that, but instead they had to use that single candle. So, to think about symbols in our lives, I would like you guys to find five items that can act as symbols. So, you can pick an area of your apartment or your house, or say your friend has a really messy apartment. That would be a great area to pick a section of their crazy apartment. And for your bathroom, the garage, a friend's garage, pretend that the area you cho chose is a still life painting, and then pick five different things from that area that could be symbols for that painting, and then develop a narrative. And that's what a lot of these painters did. So you can look at, okay, I have these five things, and what are they meaning? And it can be something totally made up, really inventive, creative. And then develop a narrative from that. And I'd like you guys to be able to hand that in at the next class on Monday. Does that sound good? Does that sound exciting? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> um, does anyone have any questions about the assignment or the lecture? No? Everything will be up on Blackboard, so you'll be able to access that if you have any questions or need to go back on there just to check things out. And with all of the images, there are red squares that I put on a second image, and that kind of describes a little bit of what we talked about, so in case you need to go back and review. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Thanks. Thank you.